Let me start by saying what's not coronavirus. A runny nose is not coronavirus. Sneezing is not coronavirus. Or itchy eyes, like from an allergy, are not coronavirus. The symptoms we look at the most are a cough, along with symptoms of fatigue, malaise, chills, or fever. But in, in very healthy children and young adults, it may be a mild cough. So there's a whole range of symptoms. We're mostly seeing cough and fever, but not everyone has the fever. If someone has a new respiratory illness associated with chills, fever, malaise, weakness, and they're in a position where they have a reason to be admitted to the hospital, we're going to test them um, to make sure they either have it or don't have it. Now, if they test positive for influenza, we're not going to test them. We have learned that if someone has an illness that could be due to influenza and their test for influenza was positive, then there's no reason to test them for coronavirus. The most important thing for people to know about medical care for coronavirus is if you have shortness of breath, along with, say, cough and fever, cough and chills, etc., that may be a patient that requires medical care. The, it's very rare for someone under the age of 30 to need medical care. It's mostly people over 80 or over 60 who need medical care. So it's really a, a, a respiratory infection that causes cough, fever, chills, malaise, and shortness of breath. That would be a cause to call your doctor and get medical care. People who are otherwise healthy, young healthy adults, teenagers, children, there's no treatment for coronavirus. Testing capacity is currently limited, so we want to focus on the higher-risk patients.